Hey everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy IV for the DS. My name is Zorn. In the last episode we were in the Antlion's Den to retrieve the Sand Pearl. And in this episode we are going to use our hovercraft and run back to Capo to give it to Rosa to save her life. As before, on the uh, hovercraft, you will not encounter enemy battles, which is very nice. And so you can get to Capo basically going right around these mountains on the side. And you'll see Capo right in the center of the desert where we left it. Jump off our hoverboard, our hovercraft. Get in here. So we'll run to Rosa, because we care about her. Rosa, I'm here. I have the sand pearl. Rosa, you're back. Sand pearl. The light of the sand pearl shone, shine, shone, shine, on Rosa's face. Uh. Yay, I'm safe. Yeah, I'm safe. What the hell are you thinking, Rosa? Why did you follow me? Earthquake. Even more peculiarly. Fire crystal is gone, lady. He already took it. Fabul must be next. We need to cough, cough. No, why do we need to cough? That makes no sense. Mount Hobbs. Hi, guys. Hobbs here. Uh, no, I can't. I don't like fire. There's a history of me and fire. Join my party. Be that way. The White Mage Rosa has joined the party! More party members! Awesome. Awesome sauce. <gasps> that night. Edward, where are you going? What are you doing, Edward? Oh, look at you, mourning your dead girlfriend. How dare you. And suddenly a monster appears! That looks nothing like the monster in the battle! So... Yeah, Edward. I don't know if it's actually physically possible to die from this battle, but so be it, we'll attack as normal. Be brave, my love! Thank you! She's a ghost! Kill her! I'll kill you with my music. <laughs> you are stronger than you know. Thanks. Appreciate that, ghost lady. Who's looking like my girlfriend? More song should about do it. Boom! Yes! Solo Edward dominates. Anna! Edward, I can be with you but for this moment. 
His spirit calls me onward to become a part of it again. Don't leave me, Anna. Edward, you must be brave. Golbez cannot be allowed to have the crystals. You gave your love to me once. Now share it with all the world. Anna, my love, I, I will try. But what would you have me do? Best movie didn't mean to say that, but that's what it said in the box. So yeah, so this is Capo and uh, Rose is in the party now. Uh, yeah, let's take a look at uh, Rosa. Hey, 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 Rosa. All right. Uh, so equipment wise, um, she comes with a staff. Uh, I like to give her the power bow, and we have some arrows. Um. We have the Iron Arrows as well, they do a little bit less attack, and Holy Arrows kind of do a little bit more, so that's all nice. Uh, for the head, we're going to give her a Feathered Cap, which we have laying around. Uh, the Sage's Surplice... Uh, sur surplice? What the freak is a Surplice? Anyway, body armor's good, and we'll keep her with the Ruby Ring as well. Um, one thing to note, uh, difference from the Super Nintendo version, the Holy Arrows are unlimited, so it's not as if you have to capture, uh, like, you know, in the Super Nintendo version you actually had to buy, like, 99 arrows and keep them stocked. Uh, this one you don't have to do that. Um, so that's that. We do want to move her into the back row, um, just so she doesn't take as much damage. But, uh... Other than that, it shouldn't be too too bad. So the one thing, so this is this is like the first point of the game where you're gonna like it's so easy to miss this thing. So Edward was out here doing his like uh, ghost busting ritual with his dead girlfriend, but if you come all the way over here to the other side of the uh, town, you'll see all this sparkling ground. And if you pick it up, you will obtain the item lore augment. Um, and that basically that's that's like kind of the result from Edward's event. Now, I, you know, I've been avoiding this augment talk for a little while, and I think I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do it on the way to the uh, Hobbs. Uh, basically, we want to get to uh, we want to get to Fat Bull. That's basically the goal. But to do that, we need to go to Mount Hobbs, which is just past the Ant Lions Den. Um. But on the way there, I want to talk a little bit about augments because uh, we're going to have to make some decisions soon. And I want to tell you my reasoning behind it. Um, so the augment system itself, uh, which we, you know, we've already gotten a couple. So if you look in the inventory system and you go to uh, key items, you'll see a couple augments we have. One is the auto potion augment, uh, and another is the item lore augment. And basically, you can use these on characters to give them new abilities. Um, they are one use only, so you can only use it once, and it'll go away. Um, but the weird thing is, is that, well, like, the first thing is, is that augments are sometimes very easy to miss, such as this last one. Um, no, I don't want to land. Um, so you definitely have to be on the, you know, you have to be on the alert for them. And it's very easy to miss them, and then you can't get back to them for a while, um, because of, like, plot points and stuff, so... I don't know, that kind of sucks. Um, and the way... So the other the other part of augments are how you get them from characters. So, um, for example, uh, we have Edward in our party right now. And if we were to give him some augments and then he were to leave the party, uh, we would get some Edward augments as he left. So, for example, uh, Edward has the abilities um, uh, hide, which basically you leave the battle, and salve, which basically lets you get multiple uses out of like a, of, a, of an item. Um, you can get these abilities as augments, but to do that you basically have to give Edward augments. So if you give him one augment right now, 
before he leaves, you'll get salve, and if you give him two, you'll get salve and hide. Um, now Edward's not leaving right now, he's going to be around for a while, but I just I want to start to talk about this because um, we are going to be approaching this, this point in time where, like, to get the most out of the augment system, you have to be giving augments to characters as you play, but you have to, like, you kind of almost have to know in advance, like, when you want to give them to who and why, and I don't know, the whole thing's a it, it's a, it's really messy. I mean, it's a nice feature, but I just I hate the finality of everything, and I hate how like you have to do it at certain points during the timeline of the story. Um, and it's particularly like it's it's you know it really becomes uh, I guess important as you play through the game multiple times. So when you play this game, um, you can play it and you'll get a new game plus, and then you start the game and you keep all the augments you had from the first playthrough. Um, you can only do New Game Plus twice for a total of three playthroughs. But, like, you can imagine, like, if you're trying to get, like, that third playthrough and you're trying to, like, max your stats out on all your characters, and that's another thing, like, later in the game, once you hit level 70, um, your HP and other stats only go up based off the augments you have equipped at the time. So, like, this augment thing, like, you really have to have your head around and... I don't know. I, I just don't like that because it's not it's a, not a very discoverable system. It's one of those systems like you really only understand if you like go online and read like walkthroughs and stuff. So anyways, I just I had to get that off my chest because uh, this is going to start to get more important as we go along. So right now we have two augments. We we are not using them yet. Uh, I'll you know explain why I'm using them when I use them later. But for now, uh, pick up the item lore augment and just keep it in your inventory. And this is Mount Hobbs, and we need to get up this to travel, continue traveling to the east, to Fabul, so we can warn them about the Baron and their evil crystal-stealing Mr. Golbez. But we're going to do that in the next episode. So, uh, thanks a lot for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.